I started this painting as one to incorporate azalea flowers for an upcoming exhibit in Somerville, South Carolina. But like most of my paintings, I began to hear God speak to me through the process. After the first day of painting, I wrote a poem for what I felt in this process, which at this time was only a girl's face with a crown of azaleas. I titled the painting Spring, but have now retitled it along with the painting Shekinah. The second time I returned to the painting, I saw and added hands outstretched to the painting's viewer with a single azalea flower in full bloom. As I returned again, I saw this beauty standing in the midst of thorns, rising from the darkness. And as I added these thorns, I was reminded of the crown of thorns pushed down in mockery on the head of Christ. A moment where all seemed lost and the only foreseeable future to the world was hopelessness and death. But in that pain and darkness, God had a bigger plan for the world, a plan that would redeem and reconnect us to our God in unity and love. The light is coming And as we come together to celebrate Easter in a very different place this year, most of us from isolation in our homes, may we stay rooted in our faith, knowing that there is a greater purpose for this season, one for love, light, union, and intimacy ahead. Let us keep our hearts thankful to stay in this place of joy as we eagerly await the rising sun. Shekinah. In the coldest dead of night, the spirit whispers promises of what's to come, spontaneous as the wind, forever knowing and yet unchanging, trusting in the promise as I am once again undone. But faith rises in the undoing, increasing from what it was before, resting in unconditional love, hope sings over me. I listen, knowing there is still so much more. The Spirit whispers her wisdom to me, revealing a new hidden treasure which I've always held, buried deep within, waiting for its season, to be discovered, uncovered, surfaced, and revealed. The Lion of Judah roars, shaking me to the core of who I am, ever faithful as the rising sun, bringing change and beauty to all that surrounds me. Spring has finally begun. His glory bursts forth in a single bud. I rejoice in this new season of light and grace. As his promise is once again fulfilled, I bloom in the longing to behold his face.